Hey everybody, it's Keith again with Bob CNC. We wanted to give you a little more information about the Quantum since it is rolling out like right now. Yeah, you yeah. should probably tell people what is different or new about it. Well, yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, so what's I mean, one, well, one of the things I see right off the bat is you've got aluminum uh, T-slots. Yeah, so we made an extrusion, uh, our own custom extrusion to help right. us with the uh, spoil board. So the Quantum will have the aluminum T-slots. T-slot. T-slots. Okay. Okay. That's why, right. I, that's why I'm not marketing. Well, there's another thing, too. Underneath. Go, oh, go ahead. Underneath, there's a... Uh, torsion box. Torsion box. Can you we, want to tell me about that? Yeah, can we just show it? Oh, yeah. You want to tip it back? Just, yeah. Oh! Oh, jeez, that's heavy. So, hopefully, Kristen will be able to see this. But, Can you uh, see that okay? Under the 4 and the Max, because of the larger side, we decided to go ahead and put a torsion box to help keep everything flat. All right? So that's one of uh, the other changes that we did. Uh, the other thing is, is we made the mount for the router uh, easy to remove the router or put it back in. Uh, there's a screw that's right here that loosens up. The router comes out, put it back in, tighten up the screw. So it's yep. all done from the front. All from the front. No reaching through the gantry again. Right. So, and I think one more thing, uh, the Acme block now is a screw on so that it's easier. What does to that align. mean? Well, before we had a press in and it was zip tied. This is really a off the shelf uh, Acme nut that actually has two screws. So it's easy to adjust. Uh, it's easy to align. It's mounted right in it. And it's mounted right there yeah. on the Z assembly. Okay. So. Another thing too is uh, because of, and of course, this is in the history of the way the, why we designed the machine the yep. way we did. But uh, this machine is, in effect, in, in many of the components, 20% larger. Yeah, so we actually designed it for uh, the 5 millimeter wood, but we're actually going with the 6 millimeter 5 ply, just like we always have. Yep. So we just kind of changed the design so uh, you get a little bit more rigidity out of it. Uh, so your cutting speeds may increase a little bit. Uh, uh, the other thing that we did is uh, make the belt retainers. Uh, oh, these are cool. Yeah, you can swing off of them, right? Yeah, so, so we I should have grabbed sure. one. Yeah, I apologize. You know, the only thing that is my concern, so if you're listening to this, you should know that I'm concerned about this, is now that you can get them super tight, you will. You don't want to do that. You just really just need to get them snug. Yeah, don't use a guitar tuner when yeah. you're tightening your yeah, belts. Yeah, we right? the, the rule of thumb, which is in our troubleshooting guide, uh, is, is... Just is, a nice dull thunk. Well, I don't think I said it that way, but I'm we sorry, want them snug, but we don't want them flopping them around. But, you know, right. if I was marketing, I would have said thung. What was the word? Thunk. Thunk. Oh, thunk. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Thunk. So um, the other thing that's coming out with this that I'm kind of excited about, or I've worked really hard on, is a troubleshooting guide with videos and trying to walk you through step by step. So check that out as well. Maybe Kristen can put a link for that. So for sure... Uh, if you're watching this, they're available for pre-order. We may have even started shipping them. It's very possible. So, but if uh, you've got any questions, be sure to get a hold of us at the help desk at bobcnc.com. Sounds good, guys. See ya.